Greg here, Sightench, welcome and today is the next video about the Hilti Ferroscan PS300 that's the one you can see in the last video but today is the time for action so uh, I'm just taking this battery out put it in and uh, in today's video we're gonna go guys uh, through the quick scan we're gonna be checking uh, the cover, checking the rebar as we go time for action and uh, I'm gonna be quick scanning that column behind me and uh, I'm gonna do one scan maybe on the slab as well and uh, I hope no one gonna be parking here so uh, first I'm gonna actually set the settings for scan as I can do it now in the quick scan so I just press quick scan and uh, that's gonna asking me for calibration so that's what I'm gonna always do I'm gonna calibrate it start hold it away from some uh, metal objects and uh, now it's calibrated and I could go into parameters so that's what I'm gonna go before I'm gonna start scanning you're gonna see by default it's set 14 plus minus 6 overlay 0 direction mode auto and cover auto which would be okay but uh, I want to show you here that I can change it here so I'm gonna press this uh, and I'm gonna go for 10 millimeters uh, and I can leave in this case uh, plus minus 6 millimeters uh, that's gonna show me 8 millimeter bars even 16 millimeter bars 12 millimeter bar gonna be covered as well so my diameter is set now 10 uh, plus minus 6 overlay is 0 because uh, I'm gonna be going straight on the RC element uh, detection mode auto and cover auto and I'm gonna leave detection mode as auto so in this case that's gonna be looking for the mesh as well so uh, I'm gonna press OK and uh, I'm gonna start scanning so my parameters are set now uh, I'm just gonna be pressing the red button when I'm on the element and uh, I'm gonna be showing you how it looks as I go and uh, in this case I'm not gonna be setting the direction of scan as obviously wherever I'm gonna go the scan is gonna be showing me live so uh, let's have a look at this one so holding it here nicely press the red button the green color here the LED light on top gonna be telling me that uh, I'm not on the rebar so I'm gonna be crossing gonna see the red light so yeah that's the rebar here and uh, we can mark it uh, wherever we like but we got the live information about the cover as well so I'm gonna go down Six. I hope you can see the uh, as I go I got the light info I can actually take the scan up again and I can start scanning again and I can obviously go all the way down to see what's happening and I can just stop like this uh, and I'm gonna be checking uh, data now so that's how the scan is looking now I got the information here I can actually zoom it out a bit to see all the scan and uh, I can analyze this as I go now and uh, as you can see I can actually tap uh, every single bar here and I'm gonna get information here uh, about the location of the bar uh, type uh, rebar so you can see I had a uh, detection mode auto and that uh, actually detected as a rebar I got a diameter is 16 mil and cover 35 mil and a high quality of scan as well so you, you can see that line all blue that's gonna mean that the quality of scan is okay and what I can also do here while I'm quick scanning I can check actually the channel which are scanning and as you can see if I go up and down the cover changes a little bit uh, I'm gonna try uh, tell a little bit more about it in the last video about the ferro scan but uh, that's what I can see as I said there's a five sensors so there's five channel checking so that's what we're gonna have and uh, yeah that will be all so we can obviously mark the first scan and then uh, we're gonna get all information here by tapping the bar as well or we can just start marking wherever we need to do but what I'm gonna do now I'm actually gonna scan that slab here and I'm gonna change these parameters now maybe to 25 millimeters let's say I'm gonna go maybe 25 uh, plus minus 8 so uh, in this case I'm gonna be covering uh, 20 mil bar even 32 mil bar as well so I'm gonna press ok and you're gonna see the information I'm gonna have the welded mesh diameter outside of selected diameter range so that's still ok because I know uh, there's no 25 millimeter welded mesh I'm gonna press ok and I'm gonna start scanning so exactly same as before I need to press that red button here to start uh, scanning to start checking and uh, I got that red LED on now 
and as I'm going to be going, as you could see before, when I'm going to be crossing the river, I'm going to get red light. So that's how it goes. You can see actually, even on the scan, that uh, that line here is a little bit thicker, but uh, that's what I got. So 46, 47, 47, 50. And uh, as I said, obviously, dependent on uh, what we're going to be using, uh, for what we're going to be using. If you're going to be drilling, we're going to be marking or just checking the cover as we go. But that's a quick scan. And uh, I'm going to run it a little bit more. You can see I can go back to localize the bar exactly where it is. And uh, I can just mark it. And then uh, I'm going to take it off a little bit. That will be all quick scanning, really. And as before, obviously, I'm going to, I can take all that scan now, have a look uh, what I got. And uh, maybe just tap on the bar and see what's going on here. So uh, I got the emptor 17 mil, uh, it cannot be 17 mil, so that depends on the settings. And uh, in the last video, when I'm going to be analyzing the data, I'm going to actually show you that uh, when I'm going to be changing the diameter of the rebar, that's going to have a direct impact on the cover shown by the instrument. So this is very interesting, uh, but that's how the algorithm is uh, working on this device. So uh, that will be, guys, uh, all about the quick scanning. In the next video, as I said, we're going to go quick scan and record and uh, in that case, we're not going to be actually setting the parameters when we're scanning, but we're going to be checking the direction. We want to make sure where the scan started. Uh, we're going to actually open the job as well to have our data collected in a nice manner. So thank you for watching this video, guys. Uh, if you like it, don't forget to leave the thumbs up and subscribe if not yet. And see you in the next one when we're going to be scanning same elements, but uh, recording this time.